Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will explain how to download and install Anaconda on Ubuntu Linux. For those of you who are not familiar with Anaconda, Anaconda is a very powerful programming environment for machine learning and data science. It contains the classical machine learning libraries such as TensorFlow and PyTorch as well as numerical linear algebra libraries such as SciPy and NumPy. The installation process of Anaconda on a Windows machine is relatively straightforward. However, the installation process on a Linux machine might be a little bit more complex for people who are not familiar with Linux and with Linux command line. And consequently, I created this video tutorial for people who are not familiar with Linux and who are not familiar with Linux command line. But before I start, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, the first step is to download Anaconda. You need to go to this website and over here you need to find the download link. Here's the download link. Let's click over here. And as you can see over here, Anaconda is being downloaded. Here's the file. Before we can actually install Anaconda, we need to perform a few steps. The first step is to open the terminal. Then, in the terminal, we need to run this command to update the package list on the Linux system. Let's do that. Okay, next, to be able to use the graphic user interface packages, we need to install the following extended dependencies for Qt. I will simply copy and paste this complex command, and I will paste it over here. Click on yes. Okay. So far, so the next step is to find the downloaded file. In my case, all the files are downloaded over here. And here is an Anaconda file. Here it is. In your case, the name of the file might be different since the version that you will install might be different. I assume that you will watch this video in the future and consequently you might see a different version over here. Next, let's reopen our terminal and let's navigate to the downloads folder. First of all, let's see our current location. Okay, we are in the home folder. Let's list all the folders. Uh huh. Here they are. We need to go to the downloads folder. We consequently need to write cd download. And let's see the files in this folder. Okay, here is our file. Next, we need to verify the installer's data integrity. For that purpose, we need to type this command. shasum-a256 and the name of the file. Let's run this and let's see what happens. Okay, so far so good. Now, the issue with this file is that we cannot execute the file. Consequently, we need to change the permission rights. To change the permission rights, we need to use this command. Let's do that. chmod plus x plus x means that I'm adding the executable permissions to this file. And let's press enter. Okay, let's see the file again. Ah, we can notice that the file is green now. This means that we can execute this file. To run the installer, we'll simply type this command. And first we need to read the license agreement. Let's press enter to read the license agreement. I already read the license agreement, so I will simply press enter or you can press space and do you accept the license terms yes or no yes we are accepting the license terms okay now 
Anaconda will now be installed into this location. My advice to you is to choose this default location. So press enter. And now the installation process started. After some time, the installer will ask you the following question. Do you wish the installer to initialize Anaconda 3 by running Conda in it? My advice is to press yes. Okay, so far so good. Now Anaconda is installed. However, we need to refresh our terminal by sourcing the bash rc file. Let's do that. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Look what changed. We see here base. This means that we are in the base Anaconda environment. Another thing what will happen is the following. Let's open our terminal again. If we open the terminal, we will see that we are immediately in the Anaconda environment. And we are in the base environment. And I don't like that, to be honest. And let's change this. To change this, we will simply run this command, conda config set auto activate base true or false. We'll change this to false. Okay, let's now verify this. Close the terminal and open the terminal again. And here it is. We didn't start Anaconda. Perfect. Let us verify the Anaconda installation. We do that by typing conda list. And this command should list all the packages being installed. And here they are. Perfect. Next, let's learn how to start the Anaconda based environment. Again, open a terminal. And in the terminal, you will simply type conda activate. And here we are. We are in the Anaconda base environment. Finally, let us learn how to start the Anaconda graphics user interface. That is, let's learn how to start the Anaconda navigator. To do that, type anaconda dash navigator. And then you need to wait for a while and the navigator will start. Here it is. And here's the final window. From this navigator we can actually start our environment, we can set the preferences, we can do all sorts of things. For example, to start the environment you will click over here and then again open the terminal. And then you will go to the base or root terminal again. However, one very useful thing of Anaconda Navigator is that you can start specific programs. I like Spider very much and consequently you can start Spider by clicking over here. Spider is a very convenient and easy to use Python programming environment. Let me illustrate Spider by using this example over here. Over here I have wrote a code for plotting a 3D plot of a function. The first thing about Spider is that you can simply select a piece of code, for example this piece of code, and you can simply evaluate it. And in this window you will see the results. Let me evaluate this piece of code. Okay. Then in this window or in your console you can simply type whose and you will see all the variables its type and the data about the variables in this environment. This is really convenient and very important for debugging. Then over here you can simply type XM to see this matrix or you can type AX to see the axis. Also the spider environment can auto complete your code. For example, let's define a function def, let's call the function one and if I press enter Let's see what happened over here. You can see that immediately the tab is automatically pressed over here and this double dash is inserted. And of course over here you can add arguments. However, I like this thing very much.
Then, over here you can also see figures. So let's evaluate this code and let's see the result. Here it is. This code will simply plot the graph of this function. And here it is. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.